Welcome back everyone to another episode of Food with Victor. Today we're going to be cooking homemade mayonnaise. And for that we will be needing canola oil, egg yolks and Dijon mustard. And that's it. We will be starting from separating the yellow egg yolk from the white. And there's many ways to do this. What I like to do is just open the egg through my fingers and let it simmer through there. And what I really like by this kind of mayonnaise it's, it's a base for creating other kinds of mayonnaise. For example, aioli, trifle mayonnaise and so on. And make sure to save the egg whites. They're great for baking for example. But that's for another episode. Now it's time for the Dijon mustard. And I'm a big fan of Dijon mustard so use a big teaspoon here. And this together will create the base for the oil to bind together and that will create the mayonnaise we're looking for. You can do this by hand but it will take a long time and you get a really good exercise on your arm. You can also use a food blender, use whatever is easy for you. And just a sprinkle of regular salt. And the way to do here is just pour it in very slowly so the oil has time to cooperate with the Dijon mustard and egg. And if you do a mistake here in pouring too much too quick, just pause the pouring for a while and pick up the blending. Here we can see the oil is starting to create this magic, the consistency is changing and it's becoming more thick and fluffy. And here we go. Oil oil is in. It's a little bit too thick at the moment, but we'll fix that later with a splash of water. And as any responsible chef, amateur or home cook, do the taste test. And here I'm adding a pinch of black pepper. And since my consistency was a little bit too thick, I added about three tablespoons of water and a squeeze of lemon. This will help everything to fluff it up and to create a cloudy, beautiful mayonnaise. And if you seal your mayonnaise up, it's easy good in the fridge for one week. And there we have it. A beautiful, cloudy, fluffy, homemade mayonnaise. This is a great for a base for aioli, truffle mayonnaise or other dips. If you want me to cook your favorite recipe, comment down below and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.